Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and this is my creative year for April 2019. The topic this month is lists. Where would we be without our lists? I wanted to share with you um, just a real quick easy, um, not tutorial, but just kind of show you what I do um, to help keep myself organized. I'm just making sure I have everything close at hand here. It's my craft room's a little bit crazy. Okay. Well, first of all, I keep this in my purse, and it's just by um, Mead. It's just a. It is a sewn um, journal of sorts, notebook. So I do use this. I keep. Actually, I pull this out to. Um, to sketch designs in here, you know, for, um, for different things and just things that catch my, my brain, um, as age comes upon us, our brains don't always remember things quite as easily. So I do like to keep this in my purse so I can jot things down. Another way, um, of using lists and what I do is on my iPhone, um, there is an app called notes and just about everybody has it. Um, I keep it on the front in one of my um, folders here on the front because I'm not gonna open it because it's got a lot of personal stuff in there, but I keep a lot of lists in there. So if I need something quickly, I can pull that up or if I need to jot something down quickly, I can pull that up. And we all have our phones with us almost everywhere we go these days. So it's, it's just very convenient for me that I can refer to, refer to that whenever I need to. And of course we all have our date books. Um, this is what I use just to, um, kind of be able to look at the month as a whole. Um, to see what I've got going on. Um, I kind of color coded things a little bit. Um, like green is for school, you know, for work. Um, anyway, it's, you don't need to know all that. But anyway, it's just, uh, it's a good way for me to take a look at the whole month to see, you know, if I'm trying to plan something, I can see what's going on for that whole month. And, oh my gosh, another thing I do for lists is this is a, um, just a traveler's notebook or whatever you want, folio thing. I can't remember what the exact name of it is, but it came with this signature in it. And then I made this one to go with it. So it fits in here nicely. Um, and the one thing that I do um, as far as lists are done is I do swatch my gel pens in here, um, so that I know how they look on this particular, um, color paper. So that's all been, um, listed. And I did the same thing for the black, um, the black paper. So I could see how the gel pens um, how they look on the paper and how they don't look at the paper. Um, just an FYI, Sharpie fine liners, look at that. You really can't see them. They don't show up very well on black paper, but um, they do on white paper. <laughs> So that's that this is these are my go-to things. This is um this is what I do. This is how I keep myself semi-organized. And of course, you know, you can always do cute little things by adding stickers and and whatnot um to your to your lists and you know, a lot of people do things like that. Um I would love to be able to do stuff like that, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> I guess that should be on a to-do list is to make time to do that. Um, and those are good things to have, by the way. As a matter of fact, um, before I go, I'll give you an idea here of a to-do list. Um, I keep these 
hanging, there's little hooks here, you can see. And I have a wire that hangs above my, um, above my desk. It goes from one end of the room to the other. So it runs this way across. And I got it at Ikea. But anyway, so this is just um, notebook paper off a pad of paper. And I keep um, a list of everything I need to get filmed for the month. And I have marked out for the entire year. So that way I know, and of course I check it off when I've done it. Um, and that means when I check it off, that means it has been uploaded and scheduled on YouTube because I do two videos a month for my creative year. I do a video for, um, explorations of me. And I also do, uh, videos for Gina B. Aaron's design team. So I'm pretty busy. I've got a lot of videos that I have to get done every month and I need to make sure that I'm making my commitments. So this hangs right above my desk and that way I can look at it and I can see what I have done. And yes, they are color coordinated. So I know what color is for which group because I'm OCD that way, <laughs> you know, and the other thing that I do too is that, um, here, I'm going to get April out because we're, I know we're under May, but I'm done with April pretty much. Um, what I do also every Friday night, actually Saturday morning at midnight, um, I have to post a creative word for the week. So I have all of my words for each month written down. And then all I have to do is I have a word document created on my, on my desktop. And I just pull that word, pull that document up, change the word, change the date, save it. And it's good to go. So at midnight, all I have to do is copy and paste it and throw it up and check it off. So that's what I, you know, that's what I do. That's what helps keep me on top of things. And now that um, I put up the 27th, the creative word was wedding. I can take this and I checked it off because I did it. I can put this in the back and May is up and ready to go. I'm going to cover this up. I don't want you to see the word yet. <laughs> but it's all ready to go. So I'm just gonna drop my clip. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this and I hang it back up right here on this little wire and I'm good to go. So it's always there in front of me reminding me, hey, you need to get this done. It's a system that works for me. Not every system is gonna work for you. Work whatever works out best for you to keep you organized, whether it's writing it down, whether it's keeping a planner, whether it's using the notes on your phone, um, you know, things like that. Not everything works for everybody. Find what works best for you and go for it. So here's to happy list making in the month of April. So I hope you all have a really great, um, well, I can't say rest of your month because the month is really almost over. It's actually almost time for May, which means hopefully spring is almost here. It'd be nice. Anyway, y'all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all soon. And as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.